वेलकम बैक टू द थर्ड वीडियो फॉर द सेंटिमेंट्री लॉक्स वेयर इन आई विल ट्राई टू शो यू डिफरेंट नॉन प्लास्टिक सेंटिमेंट्री लॉक्स एंड द बिगेस्ट ग्रुप ऑफ नॉन प्लास्टिक सेंटिमेंट्री लॉक इज लाइन स्टोन नॉन प्लास्टिक सेंटिमेंट्री लॉक द बिगेस्ट ग्रुप इज लाइन स्टोन we have another important group that is evaporite and then we also have iron stones there are others also but here i will limit myself to these three group of rocks now non plastic sedimentary rocks they are precipitates from the water so as minerals crystallize from magma in a similar way in a similar way calcium carbonate or other salts sodium chloride or potassium chloride they are precipitating from the water so there is a similarity both are forming crystals both are forming crystals and because it is at low temperature earth surface temperature pressure condition through water the crystallized grains they settle down on the bed of the sea or lake and they are clumped together now settling down and coming together gives them granular texture so as far as structure is concerned they will be having layers of different size we call them bedding plane or lamination plane depending upon the spacing we will have both here and texture is crystalline to granular and theoretically it is porous but porosity can be as less as 1% and can be as high as 50% both extremes are there in the case of non plastic rocks in the case in the case of plastic sedimentary rock plastic sedimentary rock porosity varies from not less than 1% but it can be less than 10% to more than 40% theoretically all sedimentary rocks are porous plastic sedimentary rocks have more porosity as compared to non plastic rocks but it varies from sample to sample so i have got one sample of evaporite that i would like to show you these are the gypsum these are the gypsum which have crystallized out of sea water you can see lot of porosity in between between the different crystals which have grown in different directions so this is a sample of evaporite i have some other samples also but uh, i have not able to find them out then we have the biggest group of lime stone of uh, non plastic rocks lime stone which can be of three types pure shells or porous which i have already shown you shells plus powder powder calcium carbonate caco3 and pure powder CaO CO3 precipitated precipitated from waters waters and fused together fused together to form rock this rock is called as this rock is called as micro crystalline calcite lime stone in short it is called as micritic lime stone this very rock which has both shells plus powder this rock is called as shelly lime stone 
and this I have already told you that if it is made up of corals, then it is corallian limestone, corallian limestone, and if it is made up of only shells, then I have shown you a sample that is known as Tokuna. Now the colors may vary depending upon the depositional condition below wave base, below photic zone, above photic zone. It can be red, it can be grey, it can be green. Then structure, different kinds of layers. You can have fossils also. Texture, crystalline to granular. Mineral composition, most of them, they are mono-mineralic. Because whatever mineral is getting precipitated, that will be the only mineral which is going to have precipitation in that very concentration level, level and uh, uh, thermal and pressure condition of that very place. So I have already shown you the corals and uh, shelly limestone. I will show you some samples which have both shells as well as the powder. This is again I am repeating the same sample where you can see the broken shells in between calcium carbonate powder which got precipitated and binded them together. You can see this sample also and I can show you this sample wherein you can see the shell very clearly. There are other rocks also. This is also having shells and calcium carbonate. Both the things are present in this sample but you may not be able to look it very clearly okay so this is shelly limestone and the percentage of shells and that powder calcium carbonate can vary from sample to sample sometimes shell may dominate sometimes that microcrystalline calcite may dominate then we have a very big group of rocks of limestone which are called as shelly limestone sorry uh, micritic limestone you can see this is a surface which is rough why because it was exposed to the atmosphere so it has undergone weathering this is the part where it is freshly broken surface if you can see this sample this has got some very even surfaces why because these were the joints this is one set of joint this is another set of joint, this is another set of joint, this is another set of... So, we have taken out this sample along the joints. We need not to break it. You can see the limestone here also. This is again microcrystalline calcite limestone. We have lot of limestone samples here. You can see this also. This is brown colored mycritic limestone. You see this surface. It is highly weathered. Why? Because it was exposed to the atmosphere. We have this limestone also. This is cherty limestone. This is cherty limestone. Chert is another group of sedimentary rock which precipitates from water. That is silica precipitation. I should write it here. If SiO2, hydrous SiO2 precipitates, it will give you a rock that is called as chert. This is highly siliceous rock. But if you see this rock, which was mud stone, and this is chert, they look alike, but this has got very high strength. This has got very high strength. So this is a rock, chert, which is also a non-clastic sedimentary rock. Quickly, I would like to show you the iron stone. See this? This is very thinly layered, banded iron formation. It is called as banded hematite jasper. Banded hematite Jasper. So this is iron stone. I have got other samples of also of iron stone. You can see here also very thinly layered chert and iron oxide in the form of hematite is precipitated here. So these are the some important non-plastic rock. Now I would like to show you quickly. I have shown you this rock brexia. This has got some other meaning also which I will explain you afterwards. This is another brexia wherein the clasps are of limestone. The limestone rock has been crushed and then its grain got 
precipit uh, grain got cemented together you can see the cementing material also see here you can find different fragments see this rock also this is also a brexia but brexia of non clastic sedimentary rock why it has formed that is another story see here this is limestone this sample i have got from uttarakhand where there is a construction of all weather road is going on and they wanted to use this rock for aggregate to make concrete which i have refused that you cannot use this rock for concrete because this can be dissolved by water calcium carbonate can be dissolved by water see this is gray color rock but you see this brown color why because fracture has along fracture the water has moved and it has created the discoloration here you have vital shape so that's all for non plastic sedimentary rock